Hello, hello. Good evening, class. Welcome. Hi, guys. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Uh, ladies, how are you? Veronica? Hi, teacher. Are you, are you going home? Yeah, I'm going to home now. Mm, okay, Veronica. Thank you. Let's see. Elena. Hello, Elena. You there? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you, Elena? I'm oh, fine, thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Pleasure to see you again. So, Fernando, hello, Fernando. Hi. Hello, hello, Fernando. Okay, we're going to wait a minute for the rest of the class, okay? Hello, good evening, Marlene. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your day, ladies? Um, Marlene, how was your day? <laughs> Muy ocupada. Very busy. Busy, right? Hard work. Very busy day. Okay. How about you, Nilton? How was your day? Nilton, se me congeló ahí. It's freeze. First. Marlene, are you at home? No, teacher. I'm at work. You're working. Okay. See, Clelia, hello, Clelia. Hello. Mm, okay. Let's see, what is Rafael not here yet? Hello, Diana. Hi. How are you? Hello, Miss. I'm good. And you? A little bit sick. <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. And how about, uh, well, let's see. I cannot see you, Elena. Where are you? Um. Well, Clelia, I can see you too. Uh, let's see, Oscar, welcome. Welcome, Oscar. Good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. How are you? Thank you. Very, very fine. Fine. How was your day at work? Very good. Very good. No problems? <laughs> yeah. Yes, very, but very much problem. okay. Every every solution. Every day, but well. 
every solution every day. Ah, okay yeah that's fine yeah and then we always have troubles right <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah it's terrible terrible mm -hmm. um hi rafael welcome hi teacher hello hello <clears throat> hi. welcome thank you Okay, uh, I think Fernanda is still going home. Okay. Well, we're going to start. I think it's, it's time. Okay. Okay, well, guys, uh, welcome to another session. Uh, again, it's a pleasure to be here with you. So let's start. We have uh, so many activities as usually, right? Let's start. So we have session 12, and uh, we have the following agenda for this class. Uh, Rafael, can you help us with the agenda, please? Okay, okay. session 12. Uh, warning up uh, two class object, three pretas. How to use pass or be and simple pass negative negative four task prepare exercise five task conversation six wrap at seven assessment. Okay, thank you so much, Rafael. So let's start. Well, we're going to start with the game. So I know you have uh, had a hard day today always so let's see we're going to work in teams and we're going to spell the words correctly i won't show you the words but we have some easy words that you will recognize as soon as you see the pictures so uh, just participate right so that's the only um requirement that we have for this activity let's see welcome rosa okay just let me share that with you and we're going to start in here. So I think that you have played this before. Have you? Yes. Spelling B. Easy, right? Okay, so let's see. We're going to start dividing the teams. Okay, Ana Marlene, Carlos, Clelia, Diana, team one. Okay, team one. Ana Marlene, Carlos, Roberto, you here? Clelia, Diana. You are going to be team number one. Elena, Fernando, Nilton, Oscar, and okay, Let's see, Rafael, team two. Team two. Rosa and Veronica Burgos, you're going to be team number one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, team number one, please pick a card. Team one. So remember, you have to spell the words. Team one. Go ahead. Seven. Seven, okay. Wow, you're starting with the, <laughs> the right food. <laughs> okay, let's see. Give <laughs> points to team two. How many? How many, team? <laughs> Four. So sad, teacher. <laughs> yes. So what's happening with you? And you own them. Well, you own yourself. Five points. Let's see. Team number two. Please pick a number. Pick a number. Come on. Ten. Go ahead. Ten. Elena? Number ten. Ten. Okay. Spell it. So any idea about this verb? Any idea? Guys, help her. So what could be the word for this picture? So give me a verb. Try giving uh, giving me a verb. Verb. Spell. Uh -huh. Exercise. Exercise. Spell it. Exercise. Spell it. Spell it. The letter L. Spell it. Oh, so how do you spell it. exercise? Yes. Yes. C-E-L-L-I-T. 
Oh, no. Spell the word exercise. Spell the word exercise. How do you spell exercise? A. -E -X. Okay. E X. Uh -huh. I C E S E. Mm. So let's check. Uh, so what are you? R. Uh -huh. So you miss some letters. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to skip this one. Okay. <laughs> No points, so you are doing fine. Let's see, team one, go ahead, your turn. Uh, so you have to guess the, the verb or the word for the picture, and then you have to spell it. Team one. Go ahead, team one, pick a number. Rosa? Five. Five, okay, five. Wow, okay, take points from team two. How no. many points? <laughs> five. Just five. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Why only five? Just five points? Thing one? Oh, porque solo tienen cinco. <laughs> no, but you can take five. more. So they're going to um... <laughs> they don't have more. <laughs> yeah, you can take more <laughs> if you want. I mean <laughs> no, you can take five from five to twenty-five. Just five. Oh, five. Five. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Team two. Pick Twelve. a number. Number three. Nine. Eleven. Yes? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Spell it. So what is the occupation? So think about that. Doctor. Doctor. Spell it, please. D O R T O R. D O R T O R. Is that what you said? Yeah, yes. Repeat it, please. D O R T O R. Mm, okay, so let's check it. So you said R. <laughs> so no point yet. I heard, I heard, yes, right? He said D O R T O R. Yeah. Uh -huh. D -O -C. D -O -C. <laughs> okay. <D -O> <laughs> Let's see. Team one, go ahead. Your turn. 16. 16. Okay. So be ready for this one. So, what could be the word for this picture? Father. Father, can you spell it? F A T H E R. Okay. Awesome. Let's check. Very good, team. Well, finally, we got one. Let's see, team two, go ahead, your turn. Six. Six, okay. Okay, so what's that? Use. Okay, so can you spell it, team two? Spell it. J J U U I C E. Okay, so do you say J U E C E? I C E, yeah. I C E, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, they were smart. <laughs> Team one. <laughs> Team one, go ahead. Pick a number. 14. 14, okay. So let's check it. Spell it. So what's that? Any idea? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. S O C C A E R. Okay. Well, actually, it was another word, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> that's not the, well. Let's see. Team two. Nine. Uh, pick a number. Nine. Nine. Okay. So what could be that? Ear. Listen. 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 Okay. Listen. Can you spell the word? A. L S T E M. Okay, repeat Listen. it. Will you repeat it, please? L I S T E M. Listen. Okay, very good. So you're ready for a contest. Okay, team one, go ahead, team one. 
Come on, guys. Team one. one. Number one. Okay. So what's that? Calendar. Okay. Calendar. Calendar. Do <laughs> you spell it? C A N D E L. Oh, no. No. E -N -D -A -A -R. no point. No point. No points. No. <laughs> repeat it, please. Repeat it again. <laughs> C A L E N D. No. E R R. Ah, no, okay. No okay. No it was A. It was A. E A R. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oops. I made a mistake. <laughs> I, the point. I cannot modify that score. <laughs> okay, le vamos a quitar ahí 15. Al siguiente. Tienen que reponerse en el siguiente, team one. Okay, team two. Number two. The movie. Frozen. Okay. How do you spell that? F R O Z E N. Okay, wow, that's good. So you know the movie. Very good. Okay, T1, so you have to um do it right with this one because you own uh, 15 points. 11. I mean, uh huh. 11. 11, okay. Easy. Eraser. Spell it, please. E R A is no 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 point E R <laughs> no. okay so I we're gonna give it a, a second chance go ahead Rosa <laughs> you can do it E R A S E R okay. Nice. But I won't give you the points because no. the previous one was not okay. Okay. Let's see. Team uh, two, please pick a number. Four. Four. Okay. Four. Let's check that. An idea. So what's that? Backroom. Okay. Can you spell it? Backroom. Uh huh. Spell it. B A T. H R O O M. Okay, bathroom. Okay, team one, go ahead, team one. Very good, Rafael. Good, Rafael. Number? Number uh, three. Uh, team one, team one. 13. Okay, 13. So, what's that? How do you spell that word? Es una bodega, teacher. Oh, car. What? Team one, hello here, please. So, what's the word? Look at the picture. Team one, what's that? Garage. Uh huh. It's a garage. Okay. How do you spell that? Mm -hmm. G A R A N G. No point. Okay. 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 So let's check it. Can you spell it again, please? Spell it again. Se robaron a N. Spell it again. Spell it. Vamos ganando. Vamos ganando. G A R G E. Ah, so you you oh, A A God. that word the letter, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so no points for that one. Let's see, team two, your turn. Number three. Three. Okay. Reset all scores. Very good. So we never know what's going to happen. So we reset the scores. Okay, nobody has points. Okay, um, team one, your turn. So you can win, team. Fifteen, teacher. Okay, fifteen. Easy. What's that? 
Spell it. I think it's a notebook. Okay, spell it. Okay. N O T E B O O K. Okay. Notebook. And the last one, team two. So what is the opposite? Well, the um, the way how you answer to the questions that start with why. What's the way? How do we answer? Why? And the other one is starts with B. Because. Because. Okay. Because. Spell it. B E C A U S E. Okay. Okay, it's a tie. <laughs> Thanks to let's say Oscar. <laughs> no, I know, man, no. Okay, then you remember. <laughs> okay, well, it was good. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Um, just help me and say uh -huh. present. Okay, let's see. Ana Marlene and yeah, present teacher. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Present. Blanca, welcome. Okay. Um, Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Present. Roberto Argueta. Thank you, Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Delgado. Blanca Delgado. Ah, okay. Blanca. Hola. Sí. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, Guadalupe. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Fernando Salvador Present Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present, please. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Calves. Present. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Okay. So I think we're all set. So let's continue, guys, with the class. And okay, let me share that again. Okay, Jorge, thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to start uh, with this vocabulary, but um, before that, we're going to practice and we're going to learn a little bit about the pronunciation for the verbs in simple past. So look at this, we have a chart here. Can you see the chart? Yes, the green chart. Yes, can you see it? Ya cargó la Yes. Okay, very good. So um, let's pay attention to this. This is important. And because um, and when we talk about the past, we have to pronounce the words, uh, the verbs correctly. And they have uh, different meanings depending on that final sound of, the, of that verb. For example, we have verbs that end in T or D, uh, for example, want in the base form, they end in T or D. So how do we pronounce that? As ill. Example, want and in T. So we're going to say wanted, wanted. Need ends in letter D. So we're going to say needed, needed. Look at this. Um, before continuing with the rest, we're going to read uh, this information that we have over here. 
the pronunciation. Uh, can you help us, Veronica? Can you read the information? Uh, I have to read the condition. Voice sound. Here, the pronunciation. Here. Where? The pronunciation of okay, words. The pronunciation of words ending in E, D, depends of the final consonant sound. There are three ways to pronounce E, D at the end of a word in English. Okay. And e, so, uh -huh. D, D. Okay, so that's important. So we have uh, three ways to pronounce the verbs in simple past. So it will depend uh, of the final on the final uh, sound of a, of a verb. For example, it can be id, t, or d. And we're going to discover how uh, can we pronounce that correctly. Look at this. Here we have something important, voiced sound. So what is a voiced sound? Rafael, can you read that information, voiced sound? Voice sound. Use the vocal cords and they produce a vibration of humming sound in the in the throat. So you try to feel to feel, to feel it. it. Okay, so when we talk about a voice sound, it means uh, that we're talking of, as, about a sound that generates a vibration at the end. For example, let's let's write an example. So we have the verb in, okay. So we have the verb clean. So the final son, sound for this consonant is a voice sound. Why? Because when you pronounce that N, it generates a vibration. For example, how the uh, try to imitate the sound, try to do the sound uh, from the alphabet. And so uh, I want you to place your hand on your throat. So can you do that? Can you do that? Try to pronounce, uh, try to make the sound clean. So pronounce now the letter, the consonant N, N. Do you feel the vibration? N. Do you feel that? And, and. Uh -huh. so touch your throat and then you will feel the vibration. And, and do you feel it? Do you feel it? Yes, no? And, and. Uh -huh. so it generates a vibration. So that is a voice sound. And um, look at this. So we have verbs that have voice sounds. And we have some verbs that have a voiceless sound. So a voiceless sound doesn't produce any vibration. Examples. Okay, so let's try with that verb, wash. So look at this, we have this sound at the end of that verb, wash, wash. Shh. Can you do this sound? Shh. Shh. Can you put your hand on your throat? Can you touch your throat? Shh. Shh. Do you feel any vibration at the end of that mm -hmm. the verb? Put your hand here on your throat. No vibrations, right? No hay ninguna vibración, verdad? Shh. So that is a voiceless sound. Ese es un sonido no vocal. Y tenemos un sonido vocal cuando se escucha, eh, una, cuando se siente una vibración. Si usted quiere saber o identificar cómo va a pronunciar un, un verbo, tiene que distinguir eh, esas dos cosas, si es un sonido vocal o no vocal. Y en here we have some examples. Look at this. So voiceless sound. So is, is the idea clear about the voiceless and voice sounds? Is that clear? Yes, tell me. Oscar, is that clear, the idea? Voiceless and voice sound? Yes, it's clear. Okay, lady. 
Is it clear the idea of a voice and a voiceless sound? No. Uh, lady, yes or no? Uh, so, so. So, so. Okay, so I'm going to repeat it. A voice sounds, it generates a vibration on your throat. So it means that the final word or letter, the final letter of the verb generates a vibration in the base form. Of course, I'm going to show you some spelling rules. Les voy a mostrar algunas reglas. Ya tenemos una clasificación de terminaciones de verbos. Pero si ustedes se prenden esto, a identificar un voice o voiceless sound, pues no es tan necesario que se lo memoricen porque ustedes pueden sacarlo eh, nada más haciendo esta prueba. For example, a voice sound generates a vibration here. So if you put your hand here on your throat, so you'll feel that vibration. Entonces tenemos algunas consonantes que tienen un sonido eh, vibrante. Eso es un voice sound. También tenemos eh, verbos que terminan en letras o sonidos que no son, no generan ninguna vibración. Entonces tenemos el caso de la N y la terminación SH. Clean and so. Por eso yo les pregunté ahí que eh, les pedí ahí que pusieran su mano acá en su garganta para que ustedes hicieran la prueba. Que si eh, la letra es vibrante, porque ustedes van a sentir una vibración acá en su garganta. En, en. Entonces, cuando ustedes hacen el opuesto acá con SH, no hay ninguna vibración. Entonces, eso nos ayuda a nosotros a identificar cómo vamos a pronunciar el final ED, cómo vamos a pronunciar ese, ese pasado simple, ese verbo en pasado. Pero para eso tenemos que identificar estos sonidos. Entonces, porque con los regular verbs, lo único que vamos haciendo es agregar acá ED, right? The regular verbs, los verbos regulares. Entonces, ¿cómo lo voy a pronunciar si es un sonido vocal o vibrante? So, clean, ¿sabes? Con D. Lo vamos a poner acá entre paréntesis. Quiere decir que ese ED se va a pronunciar como D. Y si nosotros tenemos un sonido voiceless, vamos a hacer lo opuesto. Lo vamos a pronunciar el final, el final ED con un sonido vibrante, es prácticamente lo opuesto. Tenemos cleaned, cleaned, and washed, washed, washed. Entonces, lo que yo les comentaba aquí anteriormente para identificar esto, es ustedes lo van a identificar en la forma base para hacer el sonido del verbo en pasado simple. Cleaned, cleaned. Y tenemos washed, washed, washed. Tiene que escuchar ahí ese sonido de T. Ok. So I hope that it's clear now. Well, so sorry, right? <laughs> Thank you. But you're learning about it. So I suggest you to listen to some uh, well, videos or watch some videos or listen so to some music. So you can uh, learn a little bit about the pronunciation. But this is uh, um, something that you can use. Ok. So let's practice with these verbs. For example, we have helped, helped, helped. Help. Look at this. Uh, what is the final sound? ¿Cuál es el sonido eh, final de este verbo? So can you tell me? P. 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 And you can test that. Y ustedes pueden ir haciendo la prueba si es un sonido voices or voice. Okay. Looked, looked, sniffed, sniffed. Laughed, laughed, washed. So the one that we um, added, laughed. Okay, so that's H, right? Watched, same with watch, C H, watched, kissed, kissed. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay, so look at this. So what is the final sound here? So what is that sound? Right? Kissed, kissed, kissed. Okay. Okay. I'm going to um, make a pause here because I want you to notice something. So what is the final sound for this uh, verb? S, right? How about this one? ¿Qué hay de este sonido? 
¿Cuál sería su, um, su último sonido? Close. 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 Listen. Close. 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 It's C, right? So Close. we have, um, okay. Close. Aunque acá tengamos la letra E al final, después de, de la S, ¿cuál es el último sonido que se escucha? Porque usualmente los, los verbos que terminan en vocal, la última vocal no se, no se pronuncia. Closed. ¿Cuál es mi, son, mi último sonido? La S, la Z, ¿verdad? Closed. 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 Entonces también tenemos que tener en mente eso, que a veces de, va a depender el cambio, depend, ahí va a depender del, son, del último sonido que tenga ese verbo. Entonces, en este caso, tienen que, eh, bueno, también observar acá eh, la diferencia. Kiss, closed, closed. Para así ustedes puedan identificar si es voiceless o voiced. Entonces, tenemos acá, ¿es this uh, voiceless o voice sound? Kissed. Voiceless, right? Kissed. Vamos a ver el siguiente. Danced, danced, okay, dance, dance, C, right? C. So this is the sound that we're getting. Entonces, lo que yo quiero que ustedes observen es el último sonido. Puede ser eh, que esté escrito así como está acá, que termine en P, K o cualquier otro de, de, lo, de las letras, pero puede suceder este caso que les mencioné acá, que no necesariamente va a terminar en, en I, ¿verdad? Porque aquí es una I. Y, y una I es una voice, es una voice de vowel, right? Pero no ese es el último sonido. A ver, tenemos ahí fixed, fixed, otro sonido voiceless, right? Fixed, fixed. Y ven ahí lo, la diferencia, el contraste, que los voiceless se pronuncian con una, una T vibrante y los voiced se los pronuncian con una T. Ahora vamos con los que con los voice sounds. Cold, 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 clean, clean. Okay, again, clean, clean. Okay, offered, offered, no offer, offered, offered, D, offered, offered. Eh, ok, con la, con la R podemos identificar ese sonido vibrante también. R, right? R, 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 Damaged, 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 loved, 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 used, 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 amazed, amazed, robbed. And claimed, claimed. Okay. Look at this. We have words that end in a vowel sound. Use the D pronunciation for a D, right? The, um, the one that we mentioned here. Acá tenemos lo que estábamos hablando. Las palabras que terminan en, una voca en un sonido vocal. So we use the D pronunciation for a D. So played, play, A, right? Play, no termine en Y. Play, play, thread, try, try, followed, and continued. So we're going to check some examples. Le vamos a poner un chart por aquí para que ustedes lo practiquen un ratito. Entonces, esa técnica la pueden utilizar ustedes para identificar cómo va a pronunciar un verbo. Pero también tenemos acá, ya, miren, ya están. Ahí estamos. Ok, creo que sí, ya lo están viendo. ¿Ya lo están viendo? ¿Se quiere hacer? Yes, yes, I see. Yes, miss. Uh -huh. But we already have, a, a, let's say, some final endings. And we already have the list. Entonces ya tenemos también las listas. But you have to memorize that, right? 
uh, pronounce the past tense ending as a separate syllable, T or D, ID, right? Want, rent, rest, repeat, can't. Examples, one, wanted, rent, rented, rest, rested, repeat, repeated, plant, planted, wait, waited, visit, visited, expect, expected, expected, correct, corrected, act, acted, right? Wait, okay, count, counted, need, needed, and ended. Add, added, pretend, pretended, hate, hated. So we're going to pronounce that as a separate syllable. Hate, hated, decide, decided, operate, operated, invite, invited, and taste, tasted. So you have the, that's the first, uh, one of the rules, right? So if the verb ends, if the base form of the verb ends in T or D, so you're going to pronounce the past uh, form with ED. Second rule, can you help us with this one? Uh, let's see, Oscar. So read the, the rule, pronounce, pronounce. Pronounce the past tense with final T, T, sound. Sound. A S N X P S H T H C S. Okay, so here you have the list. Entonces acá tiene la lista también. If you well, you can memorize that, right? But um, I think that. A good technique is the one that I mentioned. So you can use these uh, rules. Examples, ask, okay, ask. So how will we pronounce the final, the password? Asked, asked. Park, parked. Walk, walked. Talk, talked. So look at this final T sound. Check checked, cook, cooked, look, looked, work, worked, pick up, picked up, picked up, like, light, bake, baked, but you have to, well, but we all have to practice indeed because that's important. If we don't practice, we will say uh, D or T and we're going to mix the, the sounds but it's a matter of practice, okay? So now let's continue with the other one because we're going to have at least some minutes in order uh, to practice. Can you help me with this one, please? Uh, let's see, a lady, pronounce. Pronounce the past tense ending with final D. Sound L-Y-N-B-E-E-R-O-W. Mm -hmm. I C E I S E J M mm -hmm. G M. Okay. Example. Look at this. We have a sounds a verse that end in double L L uh, N W. Let's see another one. Um, memorize. Okay. Memorize. So we have eyes, right? Memorize. Recognize. So we have the final endings of that verbs. So you have to keep that in mind. If you have this kind of, uh, these final endings, you're going to make a D sound. Example, call, called, plant, plant, answer, answered, answered. Okay, another example, stay, state, arrive, arrived, memorized, memorized so you have to make that the uh, that sound so and that's all about the rules that we have for this uh, for this uh, verbs so right now uh, i want to know if you have any question about the pronunciation for these verbs guys okay yeah i'm going to do it uh, right now okay 
Well, I'm going to create in our breakout rooms. I'm going to give you at least 10 uh, minutes and try to practice as much as possible with the uh, past uh, uh, verbs. I want you to start um, well, pronouncing that verbs in order to practice, okay? So I'm going to create the breakout rooms and I'm going to send you the worksheet so you can uh, practice with the classmate. Okay, so there you go. So join the breakout rooms and I'm going to send you the, um, the worksheet. <laughs> Okay, eh, Blanca, Verónica, Diana, me avisan ahí, chicas, si no les aparece la invitación. Okay, muy bien. Guadalupe, eh, Diana, luego Guadalupe, Diana. Eight, okay. Hola. Okay. Hola chicas, ya les compartí el, eh, la worksheet en el, en el chat. Ok, gracias. Diana, hello Diana. Blanca, hi. Hola. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Ya lo tiene Blanca, empieza usted. Ok, todas las vamos a pronunciar, las vamos a practicar. No, just some of them. Ahí ustedes elijan una... Ah, eligen dos de la categoría, eligen unas cuantas. Um, de cada categoría, para que las vayan practicando. Ok. Um, sería Juan. Um, count. Uh, Wind, invite, mm, okay. operate, 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 vamos a ver, where is the list, operate, ok, les voy a poner aquí una, una demostración para que ustedes tomen la idea, sería así chicas, me dicen si ya ven ahí la pantalla, no. ¿Ya se ve? Ahorita sí. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, sí. tenemos acá la forma base, es decir, la forma en presente, want, y tenemos la forma en pasado. Ahorita lo que nos interesa es esta forma en pasado. Want, wanted. Rent, uh -huh. rented. Rest, rested. Repeat, repeated. Lo que quiero que eh, observen acá es, eh, por ejemplo, si el verbo termina en T o, o termina en D, por ejemplo, need, usted lo va a pronunciar en eh, la forma en pasado simple con este, este, ed, lo va a pronunciar como id. 
want, wanted, wait, waited, count, counted, hate, hated. Entonces, eso es lo que van a ir haciendo. En este otro caso tenemos um, dos sonidos que terminan en T. Entonces, si tenemos verbos que terminan en su forma base, verbos que terminan en K, en doble S, double S, S, X, P, S, H, C, H, C or S, vamos a tener un sonido de T cuando nosotros agreguemos el ED a ese verbo. Ask, ask. Park, parked. Entonces no se va a pronunciar como lo hicimos aquí arriba, ¿verdad? Porque es diferente la terminación de esta forma base. Ask, asked. Missed, missed. Cash, cashed. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos bien ahí, chicas? Ya sé. ¿Ok? Eso sería con respecto a esa regla. Y tenemos la otra regla que nos dice lo siguiente. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar la forma en pasado del verbo? Si termina en L, en un sonido de L, Y, N, V, E, E, R, O, W, Eyes, Eyes, and Eyes, G, M, M. Lo vamos a pronunciar como un sonido de D. Siempre este es este E, D, ¿verdad? Cold. Cold. T. Fail. Failed. Feel. Filled. Filled. Kill. Killed. Plan. Plant. Plant. Ok, eso es, lo que, eso es lo que vamos a ir haciendo, ir practicando presente, pasado. ¿Cómo lo pronunciaríamos si termina en esas, si tiene alguna de esas terminaciones? Pero no sé si puede compartir alguna de ustedes para que lo vayan viendo. No, yo estoy de, de, en el teléfono. Estaba viendo. Del teléfono. ¿Y Diana? Yo igual del teléfono. Estoy ok. Y, pues, pero creo que se puede compartir. Se los envía a WhatsApp. Hagan ahí la prueba. A ver si se puede. Ah, ok. Solamente que es, elijan primero la, la imagen, para que después es que puedan, solamente cuando le den share, les aparezca la imagen. Ok, ahí está. Perfect, Diana. Ok, ¿sí se ve? Sí, solamente que si le puede hacer zoom, zoom in. Ajá. Para hacerlo más oh, cerquita. Okay, ahí está. Ajá, la ahí está. Sí, ahí, 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 cabalito. Ahí ya se ve un poco. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. How you doing? Great. I have duda. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cansado, ya, ya me cansé de largar. No, lo, lo que pasa es que como es el ese, ese, wanted. Wanted, wanted, wanted. Acá lo vamos a pronunciar. Acá nos da una, una clue, miren, una pista. Lo vamos a pronunciar como una sílaba separada. It, want, wanted. Wait, waited. Count, counted. It, hate, hated. Rent, rented. Visit, visited. Need, Netted, netted. Decide, decided. I decided to go to Spain last year because I had a, 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 I wanted to visit my my best friend. Wanted, wanted, wanted. Ya lo dije un poco diferente ahí. Want, wanted, wanted. Okay. 
In the past tense, yeah, the verbs, the final, uh, as, like ask or, or kiss. Mm -hmm. Our pronunciation past tense, kiss. Kiss, uh, with T. With kiss, kissed. 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 What you ask? Ask. Cast, cast. Frost. Calific, me Ask, ask it. Park, park it. Walk, walk it. Talk, talk it. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Yes. Look at this. Vamos aquí. Por eso les mencionaba. Si el sonido. Acá tenemos los, los verbos en su forma base, right? Ask, mm -hmm. park, walk, kiss, washed. Todas las terminaciones están dentro de esta regla. Si están acá dentro de esta regla, tiene que ser un sonido de T. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar ese ED? Entonces, acá lo que estamos investigando, lo que estamos estudiando es cómo pronunciar el ED de los verbos regulares. Entonces, tenemos, si el verbo termina en T o D, como ID. Si el verbo termina ya sea en cualquiera de esas terminaciones, tendría que ser de sonido de T. Ese, ese sonido de T va a representar ese ED del verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, ask, asked. Park, part. Entonces ya no, vamos a, ya no vamos a decir id, no vamos a decir ed tampoco, ni asked, ni missed. Vamos a decir asked, parked. Esa es, esa es la forma correcta. Eh, walk, walked. Talk, Talked. Check, checked. Entonces ahí usted lo ven en escritura, ven el ED, pero es un sonido de T el que vamos a hacer al final. Miss, missed. Kiss, kissed. Cash, cashed. Wash, washed. Entonces, y cuando tengamos dudas, pueden aplicar lo que veíamos al principio si es un sonido eh, vibrante o no, pero bueno, aquí tenemos las reglas, Esta es la cuestión de que ahí sí hay que memorizarla Ajá, sí. y hacía falta la explicación en español ya ves bueno sí, sí, a veces yo sé que esto a veces bueno, cuesta un poco pero lo pueden es cuestión de que, que lo vayamos practicando los verbos han pasado, porque esto sí es bastante importante, ok, eh, los dejo practicando, voy a checar ahí otro grupo espero Gracias. que les haya ayudado y recuerden que, eh, bueno, el último que tenemos abajo me parece que es el del eh, sonido de D, recuerden que lo van a representar el ED con una D en la última, en la última categoría que tenemos ahí ok thank you thank you guys Hello, well, hello guys. Permíteme que aquí me parece que alguien está solo. Vamos a traerla. Gracias por auxiliarnos. Aquí tenemos una gran fiesta. Ok, ¿qué, qué les pasó? Díganme. En, en, en pronunciación de past tense with final T, uh -huh. tenemos la duda si es asked o ask. Ok, sí. Algo muy importante es que ese ED, acá lo que estamos nosotros estudiando es la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado. Entonces, de los verbos eh, regulares, los verbos regulares, a todos les vamos agregando ED para formar su forma eh, en pasado. Entonces, mm -hmm. tenemos tres categorías. Tenemos. Pero para discutir cada una de ellas, bueno, empezamos con la primera. Dice, que vamos a pronunciar el past tense with the final T sound para eh, cuando nosotros tenemos verbos que terminan en esto, ¿verdad? K, double S, S, X, P, S, H, C, H, N, C, S. Entonces se van a pronunciar acá como está acá, una T. Ahí. Una T. Veamos los ejemplos de los verbos. Entonces cuando nos referimos al, eh, al sonido, al, a la letra o al sonido final de un verbo, nos estamos refiriendo al verbo en su forma eh, base. Pues ustedes notan, ahí están marcaditas en, en negrita todas las eh, terminaciones de los, todos los sonidos, los sonidos de, de su verbo. Ask termina en cabra. 
Park, también walk, termina en K. Entonces, en su forma en pasado, S, E, D, usted lo tiene que pronunciar como una T. Ask, asked, asked. Bark, park. Park. Ajá, ahí se nos pasó el id. Park. Uh -huh. Park. Park. Ahí ya no, digamos que ustedes lo park. están viendo en escritura. Usted lo está viendo en escritura, pero el sonido es una T. T. Ajá, es una T. Por eso yo les decía la mención, eh, mención al principio que si ustedes eh, usan la técnica de identificar si es un sonido vibrante, usted puede identificar si este, va a pronunciar ese verbo con una D o con una T. Cuando es un sonido vibrante, por ejemplo, ask. Ask es un son, eh, la K, el último sonido de ese verbo, es un sonido eh, no vibrante. ¿Qué decíamos que era un sonido vibrante? Por Ajá. Usted puede probarlo cuando usted hace el sonido de, ese ultim, de esa última letra, de ese verbo, ask, no genera ninguna vibración al final. Ask. ask. Ah, puede hacerlo nada más con la, con, la ultim, con la última letra suficiente. Ask. ask. O el sonido de la cabra. Veamos otro que está por acá. Eh, Vaya, la doble S. Usted se pone la manita aquí. No hay ninguna vibración. Vamos acá. Eh, SH. No hay tampoco ninguna vibración. Entonces, cuando no hay ninguna eh, vibración, el sonido va a ser una T. Pero ustedes pueden también aprenderse así, así con estas reglas. Ya está más, eh, ¿cómo decirle? Bueno, ya está con la regla ahí. Ya no es necesario mm -hmm. que que estén haciendo esto cada vez que van a decir un verbo, pero les voy a ayudar para cuando ustedes no sepan cómo pronunciarlo. Entonces, sí, tenemos que estar pendientes de esa terminación de los verbos en su forma base para saber cómo vamos a pronunciar el pasado simple de ese eh, verbo. Entonces, eh, acá ya no vamos a decir id ni ed, sino que va a depender de esta letra. Ask, que es un sonido... Eh, voiceless, es un voiceless sound no tiene vibración, lo voy a pronunciar como una T okay. ajá, todos estos serían como T, todos estos que están viendo aquí el, el de T pero sustituimos la T por el ED ¿verdad? no solamente por la D exacto, es que acá lo, lo que ustedes están mal los confunde es la escritura, ustedes ven el ED, uh -huh. pero pero en el, el sonido sería una T entonces ahí depende de, de la Digamos, como, del como, sonido final. Como así. Uh -huh, exacto. Eso digamos que sería un equivalente al, a como nosotros lo, lo escucharíamos. As. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, la escritura es pues, de verdad. Igual que todos los verbos irregulares. Regulares. Ok. Ajá. <risa> No sé si tienen alguna duda ahí, con alguna otra palabra. Sí, me estaba como costando hacer la pronunciación de, de las palabras. Entonces, por eso le llamamos. Ah, está bien. Gracias por auxiliarnos. Vaya, eso es en cuanto a esta regla, ¿verdad? Entonces, como estos verbos terminan en estas terminaciones, K, double S, S, todas esas que tienen ahí con el T, por eso ustedes lo van a pronunciar con, una, con un sonido de T. Pero los que tienen más arriba, subamos más arriba. En la primera, la primera categoría. Tenían ahí. Ok, acá tienen ustedes. Pronounce the past tense ending as a separate syllable. Entonces, veamos acá los verbos, las terminaciones de estos verbos. Want, con temen. Entonces, la forma en pasado. Ya sabemos que escritura le vamos a agregar ed. Pero en pronunciación sería id. Want, wanted. Rent, rented. Veamos otro por acá. Hate, hated. Decide, decided. A veces, eh, a veces pasa que, bueno, muchas personas eh, dicen counted, needed. O lo hacen con D o pueden mezclar ahí los sonidos. Pero tienen que tener en mente esto. La forma base termina en T o D. Ah, entonces es un ED, right Y acá, miren, tenemos el caso de hate. Ubica ahí el puntero en hate. Hate. Okay. El primero, um, okay, la derecha. 
Ahí. Okay. Ajá, ok. Hate. Si ustedes notan acá, ¿cuál es nuestro último sonido acá en ese verbo? Hate. 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 Ajá. Hate. Hate. Entonces tenemos un sonido de T. Ese es nuestro último sonido. Eso es lo que yo les mencionaba. Que eh, aunque el verbo tenga ahí una vocal, pero esa vocal no se escucha. Entonces yo voy a partir de la del último sonido que escucho en ese verbo. Hate. Hate it. Hate it. Decide. Decide it. Bueno, eso sería, ajá, ahí tenemos una lista de verbos que terminan en, en vocal, pero no estamos pronunciando, no estamos observando eso, nos estamos concentrando en lo que estamos escuchando. Decide, decided, el sonido de, de, decide, decide, decided. Ah, aquí yo no digo oper, o, operate o something like that, right? Digo operate, operate, oh. en la forma de presente simple. Operated, pasado. Invite, invite. Miren, esto es presente. Invite, invited. Taste, ¿qué? probar. Tasted, tasted. Sí, sí. Y al final también tienen otro. Ustedes la categoría. La última, vamos a la última. Y al final tienen ahí los sonidos que eh, terminan con D. Siempre la escritura, miren, es D. De. Siempre sería la misma regla si termina en double L, L, Y, N, V, E, E, R, O, W, I, 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 G, M, M. Vamos a pronunciarlo como una D. Y acá estamos refiriéndonos en esta categoría, nos estamos refiriendo a los, eh, los sonidos. Ajá, vamos a ver, eh, aquí nos estamos refiriendo a los sonidos que son eh, voiced, los que generan vibración. Vamos, el, 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 vamos a ver otro sonido que está por ahí, la N, la N, en, en, en esa vibración. Entonces ustedes ven es lo opuesto, cuando yo tengo un verbo que es eh, voiced, yo lo voy a pronunciar con una D, el plus forma en pasado, cuando yo tengo un verbo que es eh, eh, voiceless, lo voy a pronunciar con una T en su forma en pasado. Entonces, por eso mencionábamos lo, eh, la técnica al principio, pero aquí ya los tienen ustedes clasificados también. Pero igual pueden hacer la prueba con algún verbo que, ah, bueno, les surja duda en algún momento y les, y les va a funcionar bien. Thank you, Miss. Ok. Thank you, Miss. Ok. So if you este, want, you can practice for at least two minutes. <laughs> okay. Ana Marlene, no sé si la... Entonces, invite it. Taste it. Taste it. Ajá, taste it. Invite it. Es que esas son las que terminan en... en... Y de... Bueno... Hello, hello, guys. Did you finish? Miguel, Elena, Guadalupe? Hello, yes. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Terminada, chicos. Ya, las repasamos. Okay. Dos o tres veces cada uno. Very good. Okay, so we're going to uh, go back to the breakout rooms. Okay? Bye. Ahorita Thank you. Regresamos. Okay, welcome back, guys. How was the practice? Did you have fun? <laughs> How was the practice, Nilton? How was the practice? Good? Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> okay.
Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, well, indeed, uh, in order to uh, learn about the pronunciation of the verbs in simple past, we need to practice as much as possible. I hope this uh, worksheet can help you. But you can also, well, look for some videos or some um, uh, audios uh, in which you can uh, learn or listen. You can also uh, have some more practice because that's going to help you a lot when you talk. Okay. So look at this. We have the class objective for this uh, session. And, uh, okay, Nelton, can you read it? Oh, okay. Class objectives. Participants will be able to, to write three sentences using the past of B and the simple past in negative while correctly individually. Okay. Individually. Individually. Okay. Okay. So we're going to work uh, right now in the manual. And we're going to uh, work on a conversation. So just let me open that and we can start practicing with that. Okay, so that's page 30, I think, page 31. Okay, so hold on, yeah. one second. Okay, look at this. Let me know if you can see that. Can you see that? Can you see the PDF? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to practice a little bit about, um, well, with this conversation, we're going to listen to the conversation and then we're going to have a practice, speaking practice with the classmate. So we have Luz and Eva. Can you tell me more about your experience? This. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained, he explained everything to me. Okay, again, can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. I apologize for that. And what about a product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. He explained everything to me. Okay. Uh, questions about the vocabulary. So what's the meaning about uh, for the word uh, actually? So what's the meaning for that actually? Any idea? Uh, actualmente. En realidad. En realidad. Okay. En realidad. En realidad. Okay. Any other word? Questions about uh, any other vocabulary? Uh huh. My apologies. Ah, my apologies. My apologies. Apologize. Disculpa. Miss, disculpa. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Did you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. He said was from Idaho, and he explained everything to me. Explained, right? Okay. Um, look at this. I wanted to uh, notice that we're using right, pass of B and pass for the rest of the verbs. We're going to study that in a moment, but right now we're going to have the practice in, here, in the break of rooms. But first, let's see, I need a volunteer to practice again. Uh, anybody volunteer? Okay, in Nilton and who else? Come on. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Nilton, start, please. Okay. Can you tell me 
Can you tell me more okay. about your experience? It wasn't so now nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I felt. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. I wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was a considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Call it. Call it. Okay, so can you role play that? So now you start a lady, okay? And uh, Nilton, you're a uh, yeah, Eva. Can you tell me more about your experience? Yo siempre, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yo soy Eva. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it went so, so nice because the agent did, did, didn't give a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was King. My apologies for that. Um, what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I call. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't. So is, but I call 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 it another agent again. He was so considered days. This name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, thank you guys. So let's practice a little bit more. Okay, can you tell me more about your experience? Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. For what I bought. For what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again, again, again. He was a considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Considerate, explained, okay. He, want, he explained everything to me. Okay, let's see. I want to uh, check somebody else. Um, Veronica, can you help us, please? Veronica and Rosa? Okay. okay. You start, Veronica. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt receipt for that about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. I wasn't so so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained 
everything to me. Okay. Ahora, teacher. Okay, thank you, ladies. So let's uh, check a little bit more. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. For what I bought. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Could you use it? Could you use it? Could you use it? Could you yes, use it? I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent. Again, again, he was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's check the verbs. Call. Yeah. Look at this. L. Called. Yeah. Called. But I called another yeah. agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he yeah. explained. Explained. So we have T and we have D, right? Call. Called. Call. Explained. Yeah. Explained. Called. Explained. Called. Explained. Okay, nice. So now, um, please take a screenshot and we're going to have the practice in the breakout room. So I want you to role play this conversation. Okay. okay so let's try again. Okay, so here we go. Join the breakout rooms and let's try to practice at least two times, okay? Okay. Blanca, did you get an invitation? No? Miss, ahorita solo, solo, solo termino una llamada, ahorita me conecto, perdón Ana Verónica, ahorita vengo. Ah, you're mute, Jorge, you're mute. Ah, well, he's, creo que está en una llamada, ¿no? Sí, él está en una llamada. Okay. Eh, Diana, Diana, you here? Are you here, Diana? Aquí está Diana. Pueden practicar ustedes, chicos. Ok. Soy Luz. Hay Luz. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't 
so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't keen. My apologies for that. And what about your product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't was so easy. But I call him another agent again. He sorry, also... sorry, que tenía una llamada, perdón, perdón, pero aquí estoy ya. <laughs> He was so considered his name was Romeo and he My apologies for that and what's about our product? Were you use it? Yes, I call I was in Sudan, but I call it another agent a guy. He was so considered his name was Romero and he explained everything to me. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even set a receipt for that I bought. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't high. My apologies for that thing was about our products. Could you use it? Yes, I could. He wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was considered his name was Romeo and his and he explained everything to me. Everything to me. Everything to me. Okay. Next. And well. See? Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? Yes, I wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't. Even saying a repeat for what I about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't shy. My apologies for that. And what's about our product? Okay. Uh, okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our products? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained his everything to me. Okay. Okay. So let's check uh, agent again. Agent. 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 Okay, I'm going to play the, the sound, the word. Agent. Listen. Agent. 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 Okay. Agent. Again. Agent. He was a considerate. His name was Romero. He explained. They call. So we have L, right? L. So we have a T sound called. Called and explained, explained, explained. with uh -huh. called, 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 
Bold with T, with T uh -huh. and explained with D, explained. Explained. Uh -huh. Explained. Uh -huh. Okay, so go ahead, try to do it again. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a recipe. Recipe? Recipe. Uh -huh. Recipe. Recipe. For what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. Our firm, could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was a considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, oh, it's better. So just check the word experience. 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 X with E. Experience. Uh -huh. experience. 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 Can you tell me more about your experience? Experience. 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 It wasn't experience. so nice. Because the agent, the agent, agent, didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt. 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 That is an electronic document, right? Or a piece of paper. Um, receipt for what I bought. Receipt. 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 Okay, listen up. Receipt. 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 Okay, so I think you're doing great. I think we're going to go back, okay? Okay. Thank you, ladies. You're very good. Congratulations. You're doing great. Okay, welcome back, guys. So we're going to check our grammar point. But first, we're going to practice some uh, verbs and uh, words that I heard. Uh, for example, the verb called and uh, explained. Explained, received, received. And okay. let's see, again, what was the other one? Agent. So listen up. Cold, cold, with T, right? Cold, cold, explained, cold. explained, with D, right? Explained, 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 explained. explained. something like this. Receipt, receipt, and this is a short again. again, again, okay. So let me play that again. One. again. So let's. Yeah. Question. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. I have a question. What do you say uh, again? Again. 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 Listen, listen. Again. 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 Mm -hmm. You're going to say again. Well, I prefer the, first, the first one. Again. Again. Again, it's not a strong A, it's like eh, again, 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 mm -hmm. okay. again, again. Mm -hmm. you also have again, but you say again, <laughs> and the okay. other one is agent, 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 agent. agent. I don't know, Veronica, do we have any other word experience, right? And any other? 
había otra, había otra en las tres las que mencionamos, Verónica. No me acuerdo si había otra. Experience um, no. Just that um, one. Experience with E. Explain. Experience. Explained. Uh -huh. Explained. Explained. Experience. Experience. Okay, so that, that's all about oh, that. Uh -huh, about that verse. Fault. Apologies, también. Ah, apologies. 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 Mm -hmm. So we have the verb apologize. Disculparse. Apologies. Disculpas, right? Yes, the plural form. Okay. Apologies. Apologize. Apologies. Uh -huh. So we have plural and apologize. Singular. Apologize. Apologize. apologize, apologize, and apologies. Apologize, apologies. Teacher, actually, se puede usar mucho. Marlene, yes. Eh, sí, actually, se puede usar como decir de hecho. En realidad, actually. Mm, ya, yeah, okay. Let me check. So this is actually, en realidad. Uh -huh. De hecho, podría ser un sinónimo. Actually. Y, y la que a veces confunde con esa word es currently, que es actualmente. Actualmente. And this is um, en realidad. Word. De hecho. Actually. Actually, I love English, but I'm um, learning French. Um, I'm currently studying, uh, let's say, uh, English. Estoy estudiando inglés actualmente. I'm currently learning English. Actually, I love coffee, but I can't drink coffee. Okay. Okay, so now let's check. I don't know if you have any other question about the, the vocabulary. Yes. Rita. Veroni, no? No, okay. It's okay. Okay, so now we're going to check how to form the negative sentences in simple past. So look at this. We have the, again the structure, subject, I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. And we're going to use, as in simple present, we're going to use an auxiliary verb. But this auxiliary verb is going to be the past, uh, well, it's going to be a did, the past form of do, plus not. So that is the negative um, form, how, um, well, that's the negative. And, and then we have to add a verb, an infinitive verb. I did not live, I did not play, I did not watch. So we won't translate that auxiliary verb. So we're go just going to use it in order to make the negative sentences. So you, you won't use that, uh, you won't translate that, right? And the contraction is didn't, didn't. I didn't live in New York. You didn't play basketball. She didn't watch TV. She didn't watch TV with me. Okay, so we have, look at this. Uh, we have a contrast in here with the present tense and the past tense. Look at this, uh, the negative sentence. We don't need a dictionary. So what is the auxiliary that we use in simple present? Do, right? But in simple past, you're going to use did. So that's the auxiliary in order to make questions. We will modify the infinitive verb. So we will modify the verb. So we have need, want, uh, watch, play, live. So we're going to use the base form, right? Example, look at this. Uh, we don't need a dictionary, simple present. We didn't need a dictionary, simple past. The, the meaning is the same. So the difference is the tense, right? No necesitamos un diccionario. No, necesitamos un diccionario. No necesitamos un diccionario. Simple past, right? Jack doesn't want to go. So Jack doesn't want to go. Jack didn't want to go. Jack no quiere ir. 
y Jack no quería o no quiso ir. Simple past, right? No quiso ir. Past tense irregular verbs are only irregular in affirmative sentences, not in the negative sentences. It's option B. Example, look at this. You went to the concert. You didn't go to the concert. So it means that we're going to use, uh, as um, the rule says, we're going to use the base uh, form of the verb. You didn't go to the concert. Affirmative, you went. Tú fuiste al concierto. Tú no fuiste. Tú no fuiste. Entonces, quiere decir que acá vamos a utilizar el didn't, el auxiliar, más el not, el contraído. Didn't y la base form again. No went. You didn't went, right? No, that's not correct. So you didn't go to the concert. Okay, so we're going to check some examples. And let, okay, let, let me open that. So where is that? I think, I think it's here. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you see that? Okay, uh, can you help us, uh, Oscar, uh, to read this information? Negative to be. In the present tense, we add not. After the verb to be to form the negative x, we are not at home now. In the past tense, we do the same. So, x, we are not at home yesterday. Okay, so we're just comparing the present tense with the past form, right? So we're going to use a not. In the present, we add not after to be to form the negative, and in the past, we do the same, but we modify the to be form, right? Was, were, not. Right. This past simple negative of to be. Can you read the examples, please, uh, lady? Past simple neg negative of to be. I was, I wasn't, you were not weren't, he was not, wasn't, she was not, wasn't, it was not, wasn't, we were not, you were not, weren't, they were not, weren't. Okay. And uh, help us with this, Rafael, past simple negative. Well, simply Mary, do you remember how we do the negative in the present simple tense? Exactly. We use the auxiliary do plus not done it. And does plus not doesn't for the third person and singular. We don't play tennis on, on Sunday. Okay, so we have to keep in mind that we use auxiliary verbs plus not, right, in order to make the negative. And we use um, doesn't for the third person singular. So now we're going to compare that and um, with the past symbol. Okay. So because we're going to do something similar. Uh, continue, please, Rafael. Okay. And the past tense, we all use the auxiliary do, but now we use it past form, did, or simply we did not, didn't play tennis last Sunday. She didn't study last Saturday. Okay, so look at this. Uh, this is what I was mentioning. In the past tense, we also use the auxiliary do, but now we use its past form, did. A simple example, we did not, or we didn't play tennis last Sunday. She didn't study last Saturday. So we're going to use again the contractions, right? We didn't. We didn't play tennis. 
she didn't study. Uh, question, do we modify the verb even though if we have a third a person singular? Look at this. No, there is no difference without auxiliary. So it means in the simple present you have do and does the same auxiliary verb did, she did, he did, or he didn't, we did not, she did not, uh, he didn't, she didn't. Example, let's let's write down the sentences. He didn't. The other one. He didn't. We didn't. They didn't. And well, you didn't, right? You didn't. So these are the contractions for the negative a form in simple past. But uh, remember that you uh, won't modify anything, even though it's third person. He didn't, he didn't, she didn't. And then we're going to add the base form of a verb, right? He didn't play, he didn't base form eat. We didn't anybody. <laughs> Right, for example, they didn't open, you didn't help, so you didn't help. So what I want you to keep in mind is that you're going to use didn't to make the past a, the past a negative form. It didn't play, it didn't eat, we didn't write, they didn't open, and you didn't help. Let's uh, serve some examples. Uh, Rafael, do you have questions? Activate your microphone. I don't know. <laughs> I just saw your lips. Questions, Rafael? No? Okay. No, thank you. Okay. Can you help us with this? Um, Oscar, read the information. Fast simple. A simple negative. When you have to, to turn a sentence, into negative, you have to take into account that the past in is in didn't the burn after didn't is in present. Mm -hmm. So it means, look at this, she look wrote, at the past apartment. Uh -huh. She wrote, she wrote a book, past primacy. Okay, so now let's compare past negative. Didn't. We use right, the auxiliary. She read, mm -hmm. she read a present verb, right? A base form of she wrote a book, affirmative, but that's in simple past, right? She didn't write a book. So what we modify in the simple past, she didn't write a book. And then you add a verb. Okay, examples. Can you read the examples, please? Um, let's see, Blanca? The structure. Yes. Uh -huh. Please. A simple negative. Negative, I didn't... Not, didn't write. Mm -hmm. You didn't read. He didn't study. She didn't run. He didn't write. Drink. He didn't look. Mm -hmm. You didn't, didn't understand. understand. They didn't come. Okay. So what you do in Spanish is just, you just modify the sentence in, past, in a past form, right? No escribí, no leí, no estudié. No corrí, no tomé, no vimos, no entendí, no comprendí, <laughs> y no saltamos, right? Okay, so now let's continue. I don't know if you have questions so far. So let's try to write some examples. So write the verse in brackets using the past negative form. So we're going to use the past negative form for verb to be. So can you give me the answer? We. Was didn't work. Ah, we wasn't. So, what is the past tense for to be? Okay. Was, was were. Was were. And the negative. So, that is for the affirmative. And the negative? Were not. Uh -huh. Were not. Wasn't or? Yeah, were not. Was not or were. were. And then contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we. Weren't. Weren't. Mm -hmm. So we weren't at school this morning. Number two, she. 
Auxiliary verb. The wasn't. Aha, look at the verb. So in here, you're uh, you're being asked for a to be form. In here, you're uh, asked for another verb. Listen. Listen. Um, listen. Look at this. Look at the verb. Listen. So that's not to be. It's listen. Didn't. Aha. Uh -huh. She. Auxiliary did not. Did it. Listen. Okay. Auxiliary verb, not the rally. Listen. Contraction. Did did. Listen. She didn't listen. So you have to be careful with that. Yeah, In here, you're asked for to be. In here, you're asked for listen. Okay. Se les pregunta por el verbo to be, which is not the same. And in here, you have listen, be, work, and swim. Let's see. Exercise three. I. I was not tired. Wasn't. Wasn't. Tired. Mm -hmm. I wasn't tired. I was not retired. Okay. What? Number four. Mark. I. Mark didn't. Uh huh. Mark didn't work tired. Mm -hmm. So Mark didn't, did not didn't work last last day. Okay. Work. Uh, number five. They. They didn't. Swim. They yesterday. swim. Look at the bird. Yes. Swim. They were. Even. Okay. Work. Okay. So keep in mind this. To be mm -hmm. has a different form. Recuerden esto, el verbo to be tiene formas diferentes para las formas en pasado. To be was, were. Negative, was not, and were not. ¿Ok? Ahora, eso es con el verbo to be. Con los otros verbos vamos a utilizar did plus not. Ok. So now, let's do it again. They didn't. Eden, right? Eden. Eden. Eden swim. They didn't swim. Okay. Let's see uh, the next exercise. What's this one? So write the following sentences in the negative form. Susan went to the park yesterday. Susan. So let's convert that. We have affirmative sentences in the past tense. So now we have to modify that for a negative form in the past tense. Susan. Didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Past tense for the verb went. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, the, the past, uh, <laughs> the present form. Susan didn't go to the park. Go to the park yesterday. Uh -huh, okay. We studied English last mm -hmm. night. Negative. We didn't study English last night. Okay. We study English last night. Okay. The next one. So, what do you think about this one? The, you were my friend. The, you. You did. Um, you you were my friends. You were. When you were my friend. Wearing right to be wearing. My friend. My friend. Don't know it is. Me me me. They broke the window. Negative. They didn't. Break the window. Break the window. Break the window. Okay. Break the window. I did my homework. I didn't. I didn't. Homework. I didn't. My homework. homework. Mm, okay. And and the verb. I need a verb. What? I didn't. Did. Did. Sim. Uh, present form. Base form. Do. do do right uh, I didn't do 
My? My homework. Okay, I didn't know my homework. He was tired yesterday. He was he fired was yesterday. Awesome. Mm -hmm. He wasn't right. fired yesterday. Okay, and I think that. Okay. So now you have a. Let's say. Okay, so we have a challenge. Uh, say if the following sentences are in present simple, present continuous, or past simple, and explain why. Okay. Underline the words that help you decide tense. So what is the tense for the first sentence? What's the tense? We climbed a mountain yesterday. Simple present, pass, present continuous. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Simple pass, okay? She's dancing uh -huh. now. Simple. Present. Oh. Simple. Present continuous. Okay, all right. Some progressive. Uh -huh. Laura writes a letter every day. Simple present. Simple present. Okay. I read a mag. Okay, I read a li a magazine last night. I read a magazine. Okay. Simple past. Okay, past tense. I read a book every week. I read, mm, I read a book every week. I read a book okay. every week. Simple present. Mm, simple present. You were fat when you were young. Simple past, present, present. Simple past. Simple past. All right. John is working in the garden right now. Present continues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Present I was uh, very sad yesterday. Simple pass. Simple pass. Simple pass. Okay, so we're we're done. That's just right. Okay, I'm going to um send you an activity so you can work on that. Um, and you can do that on your own. But um, let's see. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Ana Marlene Andrade Rosario. Okay. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Blanca Luz Present. Delgado. Present. Thank you. Present, teacher. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present. Thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elena. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present teacher. Thank you. Ok, este día nos quedamos con Jorge. Ok. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Ok. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Julio. Hello, hello, Julio. Not here. Lady Joana Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you, lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Present. Thank you. Oscar, eh, Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present, teacher. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, you can work on your homework. Homework number 12. Okay. And uh, well, we stay with the four, I think. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. If you have any question, you can stay. Okay. So see you tomorrow. It's Friday and don't miss the class. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Have bye. a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, good, night. Bye. good night. Good night. Okay. Uh, Jorge, nos quedamos aquí con nosotros. No.
Um, me gustaría saber si así si tiene alguna pregunta de lo que hemos estado viendo o alguna alguna duda que tenga en particular. Eh, una pronunciación sí estaba ahí un poquito más o menos porque como la clase de ayer sí no me pude conectar pero uh -huh. este entonces sí me, lo que más me está costando es la la pronunciación este más que más que todo porque sí okay. en mi cabeza sí, lo, 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 sé cómo, cómo cómo se escribe o qué es lo que me están qué es lo que quiere decir me entiende pero uh -huh. ahora de 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 cabal ahora de la hora sí me me, me trabo bastante o algo así, eso creo que me limita bastante a hablar. Ajá. Bueno, lo que le podría recomendar es quizá, eh, bueno, ver más videos, escuchar algunas músicas y buscar quizás este, los verbos. Hay, hay unos videos en YouTube que ya están los verbos, ahí ya, ya va con la pronunciación. Pero puede tomar también la lista y, y empezar a practicarlo basado en lo que, en lo que hemos estado viendo. Entonces pues podríamos hacer eso. Quizás, este, vamos a ver, también le podríamos recomendar. Ok. Ahí te estoy entrando a la plataforma, porque en la plataforma sí voy, voy al día, pero tal vez acá tenga alguna duda. Ok, vamos a ver si tiene. Sí, me parece. Si sí, tiene la pronunciación, porque la verdad es que sí, esa es cuestión bastante de, de práctica. Ok. okay. No, no. A ver si encontramos alguno. Ok, veamos. Casi todos están así en forma de lista. A ver que uno lo vaya practicando. Ok. Pero sí, este. este, este lo que, lo que Ajá, es. Ahorita, este, ya con, uh -huh. con, con. Sí, entiendo. Y de hecho, he empezado a ver todas las películas y todo en, en inglés. Y, este, uh -huh. y hay cosas que sí las entiendo. Va, pero si yo pongo un subtítulo, sí hay en mi mente, eh, ya se formulan las palabras en inglés que ellos están hablando pero cuando uh -huh. no tengo los subtítulos como la conversación la tengo del todo pulida, sí me cuesta a veces entender algunas palabras, ¿no? pero yo siento que eso sí es, es como... como Ajá, es que lo que tienes que... Tienes... Ajá, es que tienes que practicarlo bastante, eh, bueno, ponerte ahí una meta, practicarlo prácticamente todos los días, hasta aprendértelos, porque cuando tú los escuchas, cuando tú los dices de una manera, pero también es bueno escucharlos, para que si tú imites el, el sonido, porque eso ayuda bastante a imitar el sonido. Si sí tenemos, okay. conocemos la regla también y conocemos cómo saber cómo se pronuncia, pero también puedes hacer eso de imitar el sonido. Shadow, shadow, when you es de, tú escuchas y vas repitiendo, escuchas y vas repitiendo, como que vas escuchando un audio. Por ejemplo, este día, este me ayudó bastante que nos dijera cuando lo llamamos al grupo que nos dijera que la, la regla era conforme al sonido, no a la gramática. La, de, como Ajá, es que a veces, a veces hay verbos que terminan en, bueno, porque, que terminaban en vocal, pero no, sí, no sí. El, sonido, el sonido final no era vocal, sino que era una consonante. Entonces sí, hay algunos casos que donde tenemos que tener eh, eso en mente. También, es, eh, sí, lo que estás haciendo está muy bien, de ver películas y eh, ir haciendo eso también sería bueno que vayas repitiendo. Si ya conoces el significado, bueno, lo busco, ¿verdad? Y también que vayas repitiendo eso. Déjame ver si te encuentro algún... Hay unos videos, pero quizás me gustaría más algo así como más... Eh, directamente el, el, los verbos. O también Bastante puedes... Ah, ¿sabes, qué te puede, ¿Sabes qué te puede ayudar? Eh? No. Está en derechos de autor, pero... Y lo voy a escribir acá en el si chat. Si no, la puede mandar por chat, en, en WhatsApp, en, en, el, en el grupo, yo, yo, la puedo, yo puedo entrar. Ajá. Entonces, puede buscar esa página y ahí... Ah, no, no, yo, 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 yo los escucho en español. A ellos. Ahora hay que cambiarlos a inglés para que ah, okay. vayas familiarizándote. Hay una aplicación también en, en la Play Store, me parece, de ellos, 
Y ah, es, ajá, y es bastante buena. Solamente creo que ahí se puede poner el subtítulo. Entonces está súper bien para que vayas practicando el listening y vayas escuchando la, la pronunciación. Eso te va a ayudar bastante a afinar el oído para eh, comprender, para comprender este, a veces las conversaciones, porque a veces hablan tan rápido o a veces no conocemos cómo se pronuncia y eso es ajá, no sé, más complicado. Entonces, eh, porque nosotros probablemente lo escuchemos de una manera y tal vez esté aproximado, pero no es, eh, puede ser que no sea correcto. Entonces es bueno como escucharlo eh, y tratar de, de memorizar también el, el sonido, pues también hacer eso. Ok, y voy a volver a descargar el tubolingo porque ya tengo días y me ayudaba bastante. Ok, ok, sí, está bien, está bien. Um, creo que voy a buscar algún otro recurso que les pueda ayudar para practicar porque también este, puedes escuchar historias historias uh -huh. que, uh -huh, con, que vayan ahí con los eh, con, la, con la letra con todo la, y que vengan uh -huh. con algunas preguntas también para eh, comprensión pero de te, TED Talks este, sí, este, me gusta bastante, de hecho los escucho bastante en español pero este, sí, sí, sí nunca los son buenos. voy a empezar a escuchar no, sí. Sí, tiene también. Entonces sería genial eso. No sé si en la plataforma cómo vamos. No, ahorita Yo voy no. en el ejercicio 9, ahorita. 9. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a, pasamos a la clase 12. Bueno, faltan 3, 3 entonces, actividades. Pero creo que te puedes poner el día. Eh, no sé si el examen. Yo ahorita quiero... después de la clase, ahorita lo, lo, me iba Ajá. a poner. No hay ningún problema, yo me quedo poniendo mal día. Ok, y con respecto a la, este, al examen medio. También. Ah, este, el examen medio sí quizás lo haré, lo haré mañana. Al ah, ok. De acuerdo. Eh, nada más es eh, consultar. Eh, bueno, veo que la asistencia estamos ahí un poco, estamos ahí tambaleando, pero... Este, es que los primeros tres días, no, como, es que lo que pasa es que yo me he estado conectando tarde, no. porque este, a mí me dieron una beca, así como que de la nada. Me, 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 me dijeron para una beca y empecé a estudiar justo ahorita en los últimos días de enero. Y este, no, había, no me habían dado todavía el permiso porque yo salgo de clases hasta las nueve. Entonces sí. yo hablé con Fabiola de, de ahí de uh -huh. Insafor y yo le dije de que si me podían hacer el favor de estarme incorporando entre ocho y veinte, ocho y media, que yo termino la clase. Entonces, uh -huh. pero los primeros tres días, las primeras tres clases, no las pude recibir porque todavía no tenía permiso. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces ya hablaron con él. Este, igual, yo siempre te recomiendo que estés como oyente, aunque... Eh, si estás en casa, pues puedes estar como oyente también, para que también este, estés pendiente de alguna actividad y si, si tienes algún no, 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 también. No me gusta bastante participar. <ríe> sí, sí, ya me di cuenta. <ríe> Eso me gusta también, que tú vienes y participas. Y yo tuve todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Que mi, las primeras clases yo me conectaba y todo, a mí me, me está encantando bastante este proceso de aprender inglés. Este, pero sí, este, me está tocando un poquito pesadito, pero no lo quiero abandonar por, por nada, quiero terminar todo, todo, todo. No, y me parece súper genial, vamos súper bien. La cuestión es ponerse a practicar más bien y tú puedes hacerlo en el tiempo libre también, escuchar música, <risa> ver videos y en realidad es, es divertido. <risa> Perfecto. <risa> ok, gracias Jorge. Entonces creo que por aquí nos quedamos. Um, nos vemos mañana. Nos vemos mañana, mis. Pase feliz noche. Ok, good night. Bye bye. Good night.